Get ready for an extraordinary experience as you tune into this inspiring sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. The words you are about to hear carry the power to renew your spirit and ignite a fire of faith within you, guiding you to a new level of divine breakthrough. Believer's commitment, God's commitment to the believer is scripture. Scripture represents the jurisdiction of God's commitment to the believer. Hallelujah. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing. I am standing on the promises of God. One more time. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing, I am standing on the promises of God. Please look up. Let me tell you something about the Word of God. Until you can find it in scripture, the, ish, the verse and the scripture that directly addresses your area of expectation or your area of concern, believe me, there is no confidence that God is committed over that issue. Now for some of you, you may say, Apostle, I've searched my Bible and I don't seem to find anywhere where my particular case is mentioned. I will show you that all the cases that you have that may not seem to be in the Bible, there is a category where the Bible keeps them. John 20, John 20 from verse 30 and 31. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. So there are many other things that he did but are not written in this book. Your expectation qualifies to get into that list. Lord, I know that you can do it. Even though I did not see the particular issue I'm looking for here, but the Bible says that you have done many things that were not written here, but the good thing is that you did it. And I'm releasing my faith. That becomes the second key, that I will receive this. Key number one, Locate and stand upon the word of God as it concerns your healing or whatever area of concern. Are we together? Yes. And then number two. Reach out and receive by faith. Reach out and receive your healing or reach out and receive whatever it is that you desire. By faith. Regardless the prevailing symptoms. Reach out and receive by faith regardless the prevailing symptoms i put symptoms here because we are talking about sickness but it applies to whatever area hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 it says without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to god must believe that he exists and then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So when we seek him sincerely, trusting him to come through for us, the Bible says that he is a rewarder. Scripture number 2. In John chapter 5, John chapter 5 from verse 1 to 9, very classic rendition of how to reach out by faith. The Bible says after this there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Next verse. Now there was at Jerusalem at the sheep market a pool. Which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda. Having five porches. Look at the kinds of people that were there. In these lay a great multitude of important folk of blind halt withered waiting for the moving of the water for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water whosoever then first 
after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had look at this kind of thing and a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years do you know the first thing about this story please go back to verse 5 i would have been concerned or i would have been less concerned if the bible said there were certain people who stayed there very long the first thing the Bible tells us is that there was a multitude of impotent folk and then he now isolates one man and says that one man among the multitude had been there 38 years if he said there were 10 people or 15 people you will know that it was not unique to one man that means there was something wrong with this one man that multitudes will come and go multitudes will come and go but that one man remained there verse 6 when jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case he said unto him watch this now will you be made whole that was a question watch the man's answer the important man answered and said sir i have no man when the water is troubled was that the question you see why the guy was there do you want to be healed he said i have no man when the water is troubled to put me into that means i am not willing to take responsibility over my action as powerful as the problem was not with the angel the problem was not with the water but for him to make the effort he did not know that in receiving from god you have a role to play and he said i'm just lying down there waiting for who will play my role for me and that waiting made 38 years of a moment of God's power. Can I tell you this? Every time you fail to do what God has empowered you to do, as far as your own equation, your own participatory role in obtaining from God is, you will only prolong your pain and prolong your condition. The angel came and stirred the water. And yet the man said, I have no man to put me into the pool. Do you know the kind of labor it takes to carry an impotent man and put him into the pool? But while I am coming, another stepped down before me. That another that stepped down before him was he the only important man there. The Bible says they were impotent men. Cheerlessness. And he just felt one day and he became 38 years look at the mercy of jesus verse 8 and jesus said all right now i want to give you a chance to learn how it works you would think that jesus will hold him jesus said rise it was the same thing rise which one is easier roll or rise i mean you went to school roll or rise jesus comes and you would think the equation would change even if you meet jesus it will still take the same fate rise then take up your bed at least if you fall into the water you will not take up your bed it's just to roll jesus said rise take up your bed and walk and finally nine so he had that ability he always had it. It was a flimsy excuse he was giving. If that man could rise, then it means he would have been able to roll. And immediately, the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked on the same day. And it was a Sabbath. Can you imagine that? Look at me, please. Even if Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, appears here directly to replace me, you would think just because he has come, you will start rejoicing. I assure you there will be people who will live without receiving anything. To the point that you will suspect if, if this was Jesus or not. Because his coming will not push away the need for faith. Are we together now? It will always take faith in the word of God to receive you must believe that God has come through for you and then you take the corresponding action by faith. Romans chapter 4 from verse 18 and 19. 
The Bible speaking about Abraham says, who against hope. Do you know what it means to believe in hope? Against hope. Against hope means that there were evidences glaring before him that would tell him you may never have a child again. For him and his wife Sarah. But the Bible says against hope. Regardless the symptoms. Regardless whatever it is he believed that he might become the father of many nations. According to that which was spoken he did not just believe as he wanted he believed according to that which was spoken verse next verse 19 and being not weak in faith the bible says he considered not his own body now dead when he was about 100 years old neither the deadness of sarah's womb the bible says he considered not that's why I said you have to reach out by faith. If you focus on symptoms, you will never receive from God. You have to learn to take your eyes away. When Peter looked at Jesus, he could walk on water. But when he turned and saw how boisterous the sea was, the Bible says he began to sink. They looked unto him and they were not ashamed. Can I tell you this? I assure you by the God of heaven that God like our dear people sang is still the resurrected king and he's still in the business of resurrecting people to resurrect means to bring you out of the grave every kind of grave reach out by faith reach out by faith apostle i have come here i'm trusting god for healing even in my finances my own is that my finances nothing is working when the word of god comes that god is able to bless you and to lift you it is your responsibility to reach out by faith how do you reach out by faith believing that god is able to step in and then finding out what you what role you need to play to release the power of god in fact let me give us a third key the third key if I'm to give us anyone here will be expect the anointing to flow in response to your faith. Expect the anointing to flow in response to your faith. Because the anointing of the Holy Spirit is the power, it is the agency that actually brings the results. Faith is a means of connection. It connects you to the power of God. But the agency that does the work is the anointing, the power of God. Let's look at Luke chapter 8. Luke chapter 8. Let's start from verse 14. This is, I was so touched when our dear sister came and gave her, the, the lady with, with the issue of blood, and I looked at it and I said, can you imagine this kind of thing? You can imagine the kind, of, the kind of discomfort that this would have left this lady in. But thank God for the power of God. Luke chapter 8 from verse 40. Are we there, media? The Bible says, and it came to pass that when Jesus was returned, the people gladly received him for they were all waiting for him. Uh -huh. Next verse. It says, and behold, there came a man named Jarius. And he was a ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet and besought him that he should come to his house. So the man is pleading that he would come to his house. For he had only one daughter, about 12 years of age. And she lay a dying. But as he went, to the, as he went the people thronged him. Next verse. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years. You know what this means? The day they gave birth to that child, that was the day her problem started. They were both 12 years. The day that child was born, while the mother was in the, the I want to say mortuary, while she was in the delivery room, giving birth, this woman's trouble started. All 12 years. So which 12 years will Jesus attend to? It depends on who reaches. Both of them had 12 year old problems. And you would think just because one is a little girl in the school of the spirit is not about age 
it is your ability to reach and believe please keep that scripture there i want to teach you something very powerful the bible says while they were on their way going a woman having an issue of blood 12 years which had spent all her living upon physicians neither could be healed by any 44 the bible says came behind him and touched the border of his garment and immediately her issue of blood verse 45 and jesus said this is where we are going to who touched me when all denied peter and they that were with him said master the multitude throng thee and press thee and saith thou who touched me in other words this is a silly question jesus there are so many people pushing at you how in the world will you say that and jesus said somebody had touched me for i perceive shalakatosiata many people were touching for various reasons but i perceive that virtue power the anointing has gone out of me there is a touch that places a demand look at this that means it was possible for jarius to have stood in even for the daughter and touched him immediately he was talking with somebody for a long time and he said come to my house i believe that until you come to my house my child will not be healed that was the direction of the power of god it had to be activated when he arrives his house because his faith did not believe he will be healed now but there was a woman who said i know you are passing my own is i don't have the power for any discussion i just need to touch you listen all 12 year old problems hear me you can believe god that your miracle will come december the power of god will go slowly and honor your faith till it gets to december you can believe that your increase will come from your salary and from your, god's power will work with the people in your office slowly until they start raising your paycheck but you can believe like the woman with the issue of blood she did not have a discussion all she needed to do was to touch but you see let me tell you this it was not an ordinary touch please give us that scripture it says somebody had touched me for i perceive virtue is gone out of me 47 when the woman saw that she was not hid she came trembling and falling down before him she declared unto him and before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately last verse 48 it says and he said to her daughter be of good comfort he didn't say my anointing has healed you your faith your all the discussions you said when you read mark's account the bible says she said to herself there was a contemplation that was happening there can i tell you this two people can have the same issue of sickness two people can have the same issue of finances and one person will push 12 year old child dying 12 year old woman with the issue of blood as far as pain is concerned and the longevity of the problem they were all 12 year old that means you would think that jesus will attend to the issues the same time because of the time it was whoever could reach one stood with jesus and was talking for a long time playing politics and negotiating jesus would you come another woman said i don't have time for that i know what it means to be in this condition all that is required to pull that virtue is faith the same way someone can be in here you are watching me and not receive but someone can be at the overflow or another nation like the woman with the issue of blood and said i may not be here but all i need is an opportunity to reach out i expect the anointing of the holy spirit will always flow in the direction of your faith the anointing of the holy spirit will always flow in the direction of your faith if your faith says next week the anointing says amen if your faith says now the anointing says amen if your faith says in 10 years the anointing says amen the assignment of the anointing is to say amen to whatever faith says the man was standing with jesus every part of him was dripping power 
and yet nothing happened because based on the construction of his faith he believed that jesus had to travel down until he got to his house and then to lay hands physically on his child and there was no point arguing jesus said okay that's fine let's go and then a woman said i do you know what it means to touch the hem of your garment this is it just to touch you like this you would think it's a breeze and jesus said no no among these many the same way there are many in koinonia now lifting their hands but there are others the lifting of their hands is not just to heaven alone it is to jesus and to his servant saying lord i believe and then i receive if i may but touch the hem of his garment the bible says immediately she was healed I've seen a bit of the power of God in my life and I understand a bit about the dynamics of the anointing by the grace of God do you know I have traveled for meetings where sadly I have seen certain people not touched and yet the the major dimension of the anointing that flowed in that meeting was over those kinds of cases and why they were not touched sometimes it would surprise me and then later on you would be going out and find out that other people maybe security people or somebody out there will now call and say you cannot imagine what happened to me and i'm saying but it cannot be god god cannot be that unfair proximity to an anointing does not guarantee reception proximity to an anointing does not guarantee reception it takes a revelation of faith you connect to the anointing by faith if you have the privilege to have proximity to the anointing then you can receive but with or without proximity your faith can reach any part of the globe proximity to the anointing listen to me there is nowhere in this auditorium or outside or across the globe where the power of god cannot reach you can choose to be jarius tonight and say apostle you have to come and walk let's go through that intellectual journey until we get to my house the only issue is that sometimes the concerns in your life may not allow that wastage of time it may be too late by the time he gets there but like the woman with the issue of blood it can happen right here right here right here ruach elohim ruach elohim ruach elohim ruach elohim ruach elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place Shalat Nabaratos Yana Ruach Elohim For a man of God yet tonight can be your night if you so wish. Lord, why are things not working? Ministry is not working. There is no increase. You have been wounded because it looks like you push your effort. Healing is coming for you if you can receive. Apostle, my issue is not 12 years old. My issue is 30 years old. Welcome to the one who is able to do. Able to do. No matter how long. When you meet him, you meet his power to heal, his power to deliver, his power to change. Apostle, I'm desiring A, B, C, D. Can God step in for me? Yes, the God of the Bible. I don't know what God you are talking about. But if you mean Jesus Christ, the one who is the resurrected king, 
Lord and Christ I assure you it is within his power and tonight can be your night tonight can be your night tonight can be your night we are going to pray it will be such an extraordinary move of the spirit in this place listen the most important role that you have to play tonight is to reach by faith there is a buffet the table of his majesty is prepared and set before you for all kinds of healing financial healing emotional healing spiritual healing restoration of fire honor dignity favor you are tired of the workings of darkness in your life in the next one minute i'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart and make up your mind say lord tonight is my night like the woman with the issue of blood you came as a family agree as a family you came as an individual agree as an individual you came as a business agree come on lift your voice and pray talk to the god of heaven Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Hallelujah. There is such a mighty anointing of the Spirit here. Please listen. You are going to pray one prayer. Lord, in this miracle service, everything must work in my life. Must work in my life. Open your mouth and pray. Everything. Everything must produce results. Everything. Shalandegapata must produce results. Someone is praying. Everything. Everything. Everything must produce in my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Everything that left heaven for my sake must land upon my destiny this night. Favor, increase, healing, restoration. Pray. Shebada kata brande gade bala katosh kati brande. Skate brande bara tosh kodo brata kata. Madonna, 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 
If I may but touch the hem of his garment, this issue can come to an end. I know. If I can but touch the hem of his garment, he can come to me as the wisdom of God. He can come to me as the power of God. Pray one more minute. You are not wasting your time. You are releasing your faith. God is still in the business of lifting. He's still in the business of making. He's still in the business of empowering. He's still in the business of signs and wonders. Hallelujah. You're going to shout Jesus once. And I want you to start bringing the people out, please. The power of God is ready to move. What we're going to do is going to be a quick walk. Let your faith be open. Let, let your heart be open. Let your faith be alive. Jesus is visiting his people. I want to take time and really pray for the sick. But then I need to minister right now very quickly as the Holy Spirit is leading me. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Please help the ushers. There are several people, the ushers are trained, but no matter how many, they can be limited. So if someone is under the anointing close to you, please do well to bring them out here. That name that is above every other name. Listen, as you shout that name, there are certain people in this place that the doors that have been closed, making things to not work in their life, you have done the best you know to do and doors don't seem to be opening when a door opens all that is left is advancement you can walk through i'm about to pray for you right now the power of god is coming mightily upon you at the count of three one two three shout jesus in the name of jesus doors open doors open Open, open, that they go forward. Open, bring them out. We unlock the doors by prophecy. We unlock the doors by prophecy. We unlock the doors. Pray. We unlock the doors. Please bring them out quickly. We unlock the doors. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Shalagata branda gata pakarotos koto pratigata. Doors. Many of you will be surprised what is happening to you. I say it again. Doors. By the key of David that can open a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open every door that has been shut over your destiny shut over your life and father that door is open now that door is open now the door of advancement and father be open now be open now God is opening doors in the name of Jesus that every door that stands before me that should be open I declare it open by the key of David that is able to open a door that no man can shut bring them up hallelujah now i want to pray the power of god is coming on many people 
and it's, a, it's an anointing for restoration. Hear me, when that anointing comes on your life, you will be surprised that things that should have happened starts chasing you to look for you again. For some of you, by that anointing, you will be surprised that relationships, opportunities will return by the power of the Holy Spirit. At the count of three, may that restoration mantle wherever you are. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Strange restoration in ministry. Restoration of your dignity. Restoration of honor. Restoration. Everything that used to walk, that no longer walks, I command that mantle to fall on you. That grace for restoration. And I will restore. And I will restore. And I will restore. I'm still praying it again. This anointing is coming on many people. Let there be restoration now. Son of man, can these bones live? He said, only thou knowest. Son of man, can this family live? Son of man, can this ministry live again? Son of man, can this man of God live again? But I prophesy to you, may that anointing come upon you now. Some of you were seated in the place of honor and something happened in your life and brought you down. I command, may that anointing take you back to that place. May this restoration mantle, let it take you back to your place of honor. Shalagata prandegate perekatosiata. Randa katapata. Restore, restore, restore. We are still speaking restoration. Lord, restore. 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 Shanemana saka pranda gaparatas kote balekate. Hear me. Please look up. For some of you, when the devil attacked you and brought you down, he put someone to occupy your place in the name of Jesus. We dislodge them now. Paratos kata with aparikatevata. Anyone sitting on your glory, aparikata, sitting on your job, sitting on your honor, sitting on your sacrifice, by prophecy, I dislodge them now. Restore everything that I've lost. Restore in the name of Jesus. Restore. Hallelujah. I'm feeling fire in my left hand, and I'm wondering what this is for. There are many of you like physical fire you will begin to feel it on both of your hands it's a strange anointing that god is placing on you right now as i'm speaking all over the congregation it is a kind of anointing this thing is a ministerial grace it's a gift of the spirit that god is granting you man of god prophet of god apostle pastor it's time to carry that grace there is an anointing upon your hands you will walk one task with it. Bring them out. That anointing is resting upon you. I feel fire upon my hands. For some of you it's a healing anointing. Some of you it's a breakthrough anointing. Let it come, let it come, let it come. In the name of Jesus, let it come. Ale baranda gabaratos your hands will no longer be ordinary hands your hands will no longer be ordinary hands in the name of jesus hear me this fire is coming upon you it's a grace for multiplication it's not just a healing anointing alone i'm saying it again everyone here who cannot multiply what god gives you 
that anything it gives you remains at that level I release the grace for multiplication I release the grace for multiplication hallelujah now listen this next prayer is for everybody but please let me beseech you by the message of God you are going to be receiving while you look at your neighbor so that we manage the things that can happen here are we together now how many of you believe there is a grace for speed If you have never opened your heart to receive the grace for speed please i beseech you by the message of god here is your chance i'm going to pray you will be surprised people will start running that's why i said please help them i decree and declare father that fire that can energize a man a business a ministry and bring speed at the count of three some of you have been delayed in the name of jesus you are about to take that anointing now. Shout Jesus at the count of three. One, two, three. Speed, 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 speed. May that grace come upon you. I release speed. No more delay in destiny. No more delay. I don't care what altar has tied you down. I prophesy. Speed. Speed. Every altar tying you down must release you now. Must release you now. Must release you now. Speed to your destiny. Man of God, experience speed in ministry. Career person, speed in career. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. Who is Rosemary? I'm hearing a name Rosemary. Is there someone with that name? Your name is Rosemary. Where are you coming from, madam? Come. Rosemary. Jesus. Who is Japheth? I'm hearing a name Japheth. Japheth Japheth I want to pray for you Where are you from madam? This woman From Delta State Delta State I want to pray for you You came alone? My husband and my daughter Is your husband here? And my daughter Come The Lord is about to turn the life of this family Please if he's here can you call him? Husband please come I want to pray for you The Lord is going to... What do you do? I'm a banker. I want to pray for you. You are considering leaving the bank? Yes, sir. To where? My own company. I'm going to pray for you. You are in the will of God. I want to pray for you. 
I will not come and speak carelessly like this. Believe me. Because the Lord will elevate you. I will, I, look at the little girl kneeling down too. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stretch my hands upon you and I pray. I'm praying for you but it's your wife. The anointing will come on. This is very strange. In the name of Jesus I declare. That you carry a grace. A mantle for favor. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing dies in your hands. All of you are rosemary. I will pray for you. Two of you the power of God is coming on you now. That's alright. I will pray for everybody. I'm seeing two of you right now. Fire is coming on two of you. Two of the rosemary's in front here. In Jesus name I lose that chain. I lose that chain. I'm seeing a chain. I lose it now. The name of Jesus Christ. Lose that chain now. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Let them go. In the name of Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. coming from I want to pray for you I hope you are not embarrassed madam I'm seeing you holding a basket that is supposed to look like a container anything poured in it goes down what do you do I want to pray for you huh? Planning. You are what? I'm into event planning. You are into event planning. I don't know. I'm just saying that I'm seeing you holding a basket, intending to hold a container that everything that is poured there goes down. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands upon you. You came for a miracle service. May this grace rest upon you that will turn your life around and everything fighting you. I cut it right now in the name of Jesus. I cut it now in the name of Jesus. One of you in front here will start shouting loud under the anointing. I don't know why, but God just gave me that word. In front, just in front here. Hello, him, Madonna. Let me talk to you This man The one at your back Please come Your life is about to change Hallelujah Hi God is showing me something that There is someone Now Please don't come out at random I'm watching in a vision I'm not even seeing the face of the person but I'm seeing like an event. You were rising like on a ladder. Everybody was seeing you and beginning to clap for you. And suddenly I saw what looked like an arrow. It hit what you were holding. And you started going down. This person I'm talking about. I hope I'm right, but I think it's a hold on, hold on, hold on. The person I'm seeing in my vision, you are a Yoruba person. Who is who is Wale? 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 Is there somebody like that? Oh, this man. Please come and stand. I know the lion I know the lamb I know the lion I know the lamb. I believe in the lion I will follow the lion What do you do, sir? I'm an IT consultant. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a plane leave here and going to UK. 
and coming back and going to UK again and coming back and going to UK again coming back do you have an office there I'd like you to prepare this is the next season of what God is doing look at me sir you are a good man but it's surprising you how you have not even risen to the level that your expertise should have taken you to I want to pray for you you see but let me tell you some things skill is very important but until your gift is anointed it will still not bless you being gifted and being anointed are not the same your gift must be anointed to find visibility Wale. Mm. let them come sir can i pray for you please lift your hand this man father you have given us the grace to lift and to bless i stretch my hands upon you by reason of this anointing i decree and declare find favor find favor in the name of jesus and everything that fights you i cause it right now in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you my dear brothers here wale the lord gave me that word in the name of jesus there's one or two of you here there is a a terrible demonic attack this is like a conspiracy over what you do in jesus name i stretch my hands and i pray for you right now by the power this is what i'm hearing in my spirit having the readiness to judge every disobedience if your obedience is complete there are some of you that may need to go back and just make things right and get things right but i pray for you mercy is my first prayer and then in the name of jesus by this anointing let there be restoration restoration the power of god is coming on one of you although you came out to receive i don't know what for but there is a call of god upon your life and god has been working on you in the name of jesus i declare may that grace this grace is not for manifestation is the grace for the secret place in jesus name i stretch my hands may that grace come upon you god will make you god will build you until you become a mighty battle axe in his hands in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ every one of you who has stood here in the name of jesus go back and experience restoration in jesus name i pray amen god bless you thank you who is victoria you can imagine that there are you see when i call names like this it's not this is not guessing you can imagine that there are many people who are named like that but i just call as god ministers to me and then also to save time i'm going to pray for you this man is this your wife come what do you do sir i'm a, I'm a lecturer you're a lecturer where in covenant university i want to pray for you hmm. the favor of god is real oh. when the favor of god rests upon a man because i'm looking at you and i'm seeing you travel out of this nation and it has to do with your work something you are doing I'm seeing that God is lifting you and you'll be there for a while and that you will you will connect to strange lifters and help us in the name of Jesus Christ I stand in partnership with the grace upon our father and the Lord Bishop David Oedipo and I agree with you as a lecturer in Covenant University by the power that raised Christ from the dead sir you and your wife something is coming upon your wife it is a grace she is going to start having prophetic encounters your wife she will start having dreams and start seeing things and they will happen the way she saw it i declare madam may that grace rest upon you this is victoria okay i'm going to pray for you so sir in the name of jesus i bless you i pray that whatever whether it is a, a a program or a project abroad you are doing in jesus name may the grace of god go with you and you will go and return a sign and a wonder 
in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen God bless you sir Victoria I'm going to pray don't feel I'm not insulting you where but I'm looking at you and I'm seeing manifestations of both human beings and snakes I'm not saying you are please don't miss don't worry I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing a spirit this thing is it has attracted bad and wicked people to your life I want to pray for you I know you are a lot here right now I command that spirit there are two of you or three of you in fact let them go now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ this spirit that attracts wicked people wrong people in destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now I set you free do you know let me tell you the truth what is on you is what attracts what come around you are we together now in the name of Jesus I'm praying again every negative placement upon your head that keeps drawing negative things trouble to your life I declare be free now be free now be free now please lift your hands everybody God bless you you can return back to your seat everyone a mighty deliverance is going to happen here now before we pray for the sick what is deliverance a separation between you and a spirit or you and a limitation it is not always about spirit a separation between you and conditions that are unfavorable at the count of three the power and fire of God is going to fall here right now and I want you to bring those people out father anyone here and any family any individual who is under the influence of negative spirits making Zion to be called an outcast in the name that is above all names and by the blood of the eternal covenant every legal ground that Satan has over any individual or any family by the blood of the eternal covenant as you shout the name Jesus I declare that your liberty comes are you ready now one two three shout Jesus I command all that I command yours be broken now be broken now my God every altar tying down your destiny bring them out I cause it now I cause it now causes yokes of ancestry yokes connected to bloodline yokes release them now release them now release them now open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray I declare my liberty from every planting and every influence bring them out please every planting that is not of God over my life pray every fraternity with any spirit that is not of the Christ I announce and I declare my liberty let them go now I rebuke that spirit release them now release them now hallelujah now please look at me I'm still ministering deliverance negative patterns and negative cycles it comes and then it comes again it comes and then it comes again I'm seeing at least 25 people father I don't know where they are these spirits that cause repetition of negative patterns at the count of three shout Jesus and your deliverance comes one my God two three shout Jesus be free be free be free negative patterns tying your family tying individuals bringing them to state where they recycle pain where they recycle shame where they recycle negative conditions be free
Hallelujah. I'm seeing the anointing of the Holy Spirit go to the worship team and the Lord is telling me I have answered your prayer I don't know who that is I have answered your prayer this is what God is saying I have answered your prayer may that anointing rest upon that person it is between you and God you know what you have been asking him for but the Lord is saying I have answered your prayer and what he says to one he says to all let me prophesy over someone who has been praying over a long-standing issue in the name of Jesus what he has done for a brother or sister there may it be extended to you right now the power of witchcraft negative dreams negative experiences in the name of Jesus repetitive experiences negative experiences I command those spirits now let them go let God's people go release them now mm. Please stretch your hands towards me. You are about to receive in the realm of the spirit and it will manifest. Between now. For some of you even this night. That is outside of you will see people come to testify here. I am saying it to you. Because I'm, I'm just, it just distracted me in this vision. I'm looking at what looks like a box. And then I'm seeing it being given to people. That's why I said stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands back at you prophetically. Receive that which God has for you. For some of you, it's a job. Receive it. Hallelujah. There is someone here, you have been trying to buy a house. The house you are negotiating, the person to sell it for you, the price you have been trusting that they bring it down. This is one of your major concerns. Please hear me. You will come and stand here and testify because something will happen this night in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all of you who, are, who came out here in front. Every foul spirit that has oppressed you, in the name of Jesus be released now never to return in Jesus name I pray amen and amen let's pray for the sick now the Lord is bringing healing for the last two weeks I've been hearing a name in fact it made me read it because you know I just said is it for me or whatever it is I've not really known so much about it cholesterol that word high cholesterol and i had to go and sit down and i've heard about it passively you know but i had to go and study it and i kept hearing it even up until this afternoon as i pray is one of the areas of healing god wants to bring for people i had to study it to know what what does it mean to say someone has high cholesterol because some of those things are death sentences i'm not a medical doctor but doctors here will tell you let's start with that and then every other area of sickness please if you are standing in for someone now is your chance whether you are standing in the hospital i know there are people in so many hospitals right now with patients following i want you to connect i'm about to pray for the sick i believe in the healing power of jesus but particularly i don't know those who have suffered from this high cholesterol issue probably you've gone to the hospital and they've told you or maybe the the symptoms have been around the lord began to speak this into my ears and as we pray i want you to believe you came with a sick person now is your time to receive and remember like i taught us here it is not only bodily infirmity for some of you you've lost a loved one you are trusting god to heal some negative experience in your life that has tied you down and you cannot move forward you had an accident and right now you can't move forward you are afraid of buying a car you are afraid of moving 
you lost a child you had a miscarriage and you are afraid of starting again again is a very powerful word again means in spite of again place your hand right now and let's pray everyone who is trusting God for a miracle if you are standing in for your loved one any part of your body at all now is your chance as we worship in your presence there is healing the holy spirit's gentle touch is flowing jesus i believe Hallelujah. I know I'm ministering healing, but there is someone here. They stole from you. It's like something happened. Thieves or somebody stole from you a business you are doing. And since that time, you have not moved forward again. Where is the person? Come. I'm praying for the sick now. Please make sure you understand what I'm saying. We are still praying for the sick. Don't be distracted. They stole from you. I know that most people may be coming out, but this person I'm talking about, they stole something significant from you and your life just went down like that. There are at least seven people right now as i'm seeing in my vision while I'm this i'm waiting for the other people to come but there are at least seven people the power of god is coming upon them you, the the fear you have is not just the regular fear for the unknown this is the spirit of fear right now i command that spirit by the power that raised christ from the dead and in the name of jesus christ be delivered from fear now i cast that spirit out of your life i don't male female it has stopped you from taking daring steps you are afraid of everything you know it's an unusual fear be delivered from the spirit of fear now Let me pray for those who are here in front very quickly. Madam, what do you do? Huh? I was a teacher, I retired. Uh, uh, a minister oh. of God also, but my, I don't know how I will explain it in the congregation. Mm, it's alright, madam. I understand. I'm going to pray for you. Listen, please look at me. God is able to restore time, and God is able to restore things. He can restore the years. But he can also restore things. I don't know what it is that was stolen from you while praying for the sick. But I want to pray for you. Some of you have cried. Some of you is money. Some of you is opportunity. All kinds of things. But I want to pray for you. You came for miracle service. I'm seeing a mystery. The right hand of many of you shaking supernaturally. By the spirit of god i don't know why i'm sensing even that fire on my own hands lord jesus restore 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 it doesn't matter who did what i'm placing an anointing upon you restore help mama restore in the name of jesus everything that has been stolen that brought you down and from that time you've not been able to move forward i prophesy to you go forward now go forward now go forward now go forward now the door is open before you go forward now hear me help this man 
when it is time to pray for destiny help us please make sure you open up your spirit because all blessings come from God but they come through man to you hallelujah I decree and declare any virtue that was taken from you spiritually negative soul ties demonic things that have tied you down so you cannot move forward I break it now I break it now I break it now be delivered now wasters of destiny stealers of glory I command a restoration now and a separation from this spirit go and excel for some of you it will not be up to one month God will restore you back in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please return to your seat we are praying for the sick lay your hands please help mama just just help her if you are standing in for someone whether you are inside or outside following across the globe i'm about to pray for the sick right now believe in miracles jesus heals he truly truly heals miracles are real they are not uh, stage managed no lay your hands and let me pray for you father in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god now here's what will happen please look at me just a quick instruction it is important to testify of the wonder working power of god tonight we are not only going to allow those who have been healed to come everybody who has been imparted by this you've been delivered a change has happened in your life supernaturally something miraculous has happened right now now listen to me many of you will be very surprised to see what has happened in your life and you have your evidence here let me pray for the sick and then i am going to give you two or three minutes we we'll only take a limited number of people but as many who have been touched i know that everybody has been touched but any striking notable miracle including that which is about to happen i want you to come and stand in front here or here will give you an opportunity to testify and then please listen many of you miss the remaining part of this service impartation and prophetic decrees are a major part of the miracle service you hear people come and testify not everybody is sick god may not call everybody's name and then we are constrained by time when you want to have extended meetings like this it will take a long time to be able to minister but everybody should receive in the presence of god and so please if you are coming out make sure that there is no delay i'm going to be praying for the sick but even if right now you know that the power of god has taught you you've been delivered it is still all right for you to start coming out so that we'll save time but i want to pray for the sick remember what i told you about the woman with the issue of blood you reach out by faith you receive and then you check yourself doing what you couldn't do the moment you find out that there's a miracle i want you to run and come very quickly father in the name of jesus the spirit that is back of any and all infirmities health conditions emotional conditions spiritual conditions that are manifesting as illnesses in the name of jesus christ i declare be healed now be healed now blood conditions be healed now high blood pressure go down now and by the way if you need to quickly go and check yourself we have a medical stand there very trained professional doctors lab technicians and all of that so you can do well and someone if you need to check yourself say a miracle has happened and you want to verify you do that we make sure that we only announce miracles that are verified because we're ministering to the entire globe are we together right now in the name of jesus christ eye conditions be healed now ear conditions 
be healed in the name of Jesus anyone who could not walk I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit begin to walk now you could not stand begin to stand now you could not move any part of your body begin to move it now in the name of Jesus every lump every growth in any part of your body I decree and declare that it disappears now by the power of the Holy Spirit any terminal illness whether here or across the hospitals connecting in the name of Jesus I bring you life and healing in the name of Jesus Christ blood conditions be healed now there's a woman I'm seeing in a vision you have pains all over your body you can't tell exactly what it is but your joint pain you know how someone who is a sickler sickle cell anemia you know when they have this crisis that's how you feel perpetually it's like your body is hot there's just pain from head to toe the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone you had a dream and in that dream you saw that there was something wrong with the left part of your breast and you are already being you are already afraid because you've been sensing pains and a spirit has been ministering to you that most likely this is cancer by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed right now be healed right now the Lord is showing me an interesting case there's someone your is like your feet I don't know if it is rotting at the edges don't feel embarrassed I don't know if it's like something sort of like a fungal infection affecting your toes and this is something that is terrible and embarrassing you are even tired of it you've tried to treat it and it's not going in the name of Jesus I declare be healed now <laughs> joint pains pains around your joints in the name of Jesus be healed lumbar spondylosis in the name of Jesus be healed be healed there's someone you went to the hospital and they told you something is wrong with your brain I don't know if it's cancer or a tumor or something literally in your brain I'm declaring to you right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead you shall not die you shall not die you shall not die hallelujah the Lord is showing me a vision I'm seeing a woman you are following from the United Kingdom you are with your five-year-old son in front of you and I, I don't know if it's autism or something that makes him hyperactive you are standing for a miracle for him in the name of Jesus Christ right from here in Nigeria I decree and declare may the power of God touch that person I pray for all those who are connecting trusting God for healing across the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus be healed right now now whether I mention your name or not right now I want you to check yourself and do what you couldn't do I declare healing if it's your arm move it right now if it's your neck move it your head if you need to go to the medical stand to check yourself the moment you find out that the power of God has taught you along those alongside those who either fell on the anoint on, under the anointing or had some kind of breakthrough the moment you have a testimony please you can begin to come out right now check yourself very quickly let's celebrate them as they come don't be ashamed don't be afraid while that is happening while that is happening if you are yet to submit your prayer request wave it wave it let the usher see concurrent okay please wave it ushers make sure that you quickly collect the request just be patient wave it and an usher will be here and if you want to quickly write please just write very quickly those who have been healed those who have received miracles please don't distract them whether from the overflow outside the basement make your way very quickly and come in now make your way very quickly let's celebrate them as they come make your way very quickly and come make your way very quickly check yourself and those who are following from hospitals the power of God has touched you you fell under the anointing you were delivered something supernatural and miraculous happened to you I want you very quickly you can send in your testimonies 
our media team pr team are here to receive you in the name of jesus those who are coming from outside please allow them very quickly let's have a few testimonies in the name of jesus christ there is a woman i'm seeing um your lower the lower part of your abdomen i want you to check it there was something like a a swelling there and right now it's gone you can you can check it and come and testify to the goodness of god very quickly if you are coming out please come quickly so that we move to the next the next section hallelujah yes please are we ready let me just know if we have a few testimonies hallelujah praise the lord yes sir thank you sir so uh we have a few testimonies coming in um so this is brother i mean is it free just a moment sir there is a gentleman outside you cannot walk very well with your left leg i don't know if you are using a crutch or you are just feeling discomfort but i want you to check it now i just saw the power of god touching you outside there is a mighty miracle for you in the name of jesus christ yes sir all right sir. so for three days he's been actually having a restriction in his chest okay yeah for like three days now my chest has been paining each time i try to breathe i cannot take a deep breath so after the um, offerings and um, testimonies the moment the man of god took the mic as i just heard his voice i became better like i can breathe properly right now breathe in and out in and out in the name of jesus it never returns to you Amen. by the power of the holy spirit yes please all right so the next testimony is, please come down is there someone with the name Athiniki? I just heard that name, Athiniki. There is a miracle that the Lord is bringing for that person. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. All right, sir. So, Apostle, she had an accident. You had an accident? Yes. And for the past three years? I had an accident, and after the accident, I had a dislocated wrist. So, for three years. So I so was treated, but I had some restrictions with the hand, and the pain was severe if I tried to move it more. All but right. Immediately you were preaching, even before the prayer started, I just had the relief. Check yourself. I just Any pain? Are you celebrating Jesus? I told you that health in one word is liberty. In Jesus' name, it never returns amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen and amen. Yes, sir. Affinity, can I pray for you? There is a miracle that God is bringing first in your body and then your life, your family. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be a supernatural testimony for you. Everything that has held you down, I'm seeing you crying. In the name of Jesus, weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. I bring you life and healing. You will come and stand before God's people and testify. God is turning everything around. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, we have a very interesting testimony here. Yes, sir. So, for the past 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. He's actually been having a strange itching. A strange itch? Okay. Straight to the point. Okay. It has been a long time ago. I, I can't remember exactly, but 2010, 2011. So it was one afternoon, I start feeling fever. Anytime I start feeling sick, I have short of blood. So they will not take me to blood. They say medicine called reference 12. If they give me the medicine, I will come back to normal strength. And it will not take time, like within a year, I will still have short of blood again. Yes. So later on, the crashing started. It will crash me, but it will stop. It will crash me and it will stop. So one what happened started, now? So when I came here, I, I have saw you in my dream healing me three times. But when I come to Kononia, I feel somehow because it nothing come. I see people falling on the mountain. I say, God, why me? Where do you feel? Where do you feel the itch? Your hands or all over yeah, your I body? I see the itch, and now that it comes, it's all over my body. It happened for the first time all over my body. It started happening in particular places. So now it's happened all over my body this month. So I saw you healing me in my dream three mm. times before. What happened to you now? So when I came to the service, I have to fall under nothing three times the same way I saw you in my dream healing me. And right and now, left. it's gone. Yes, sir. Let's give Jesus praise. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Chronic pain in the chest as a result of ulcer. 
ulcer yes. and right God, now God came upon him and his hold down. in the name of Jesus it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit yes he please gave word of knowledge about a woman with pain all over her body yes she has had it for the past four years so difficulty in standing or now how can... long madam conservatively over four years over four years so as I came for this uh, miracle service I just told myself, I said, I, I really want to be part of it, and I like to stand and do my worship. But I just noticed I've been standing since I came, and, uh, and the I pain is not there. Uh, then when you were ministering, you know, the word came that uh, joint pain and spondylosis, and these were the uh, specific words the doctors used Use for you. And right now, check yourself, any pain. Let's celebrate Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Are we ready? Difficulty in breathing as a result of pneumonia, but now he can breathe in and out. Pneumonia. Yes, sir. In Please. the name of Jesus, we rebuke pneumonia. It leaves you never to return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Quickly, who is ready? Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, sir, we, you gave a word of knowledge concerning the, the lumbar. Wow. The pain, so. Yes. I've had it since 2016. Yes, I had sir. a diagnosis done in 2018. The exact was lumbar spondylosis. So right now I can bend, I can move around. Bend, bend now. Any pain? Any pain? Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus? In the name of Jesus, it will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. So Apostle, these amazing women, um, you gave a word of knowledge concerning people that had dreams. Yes, so sir. Um, whether a lump or a pain in yes. the chest, yes. the breast, so three of them. All three of them. Praise the Lord. I, I had a dream. I have a lump in that dream, and it burst out. It was smelly. I woke up not too long. I started developing lump. Like four years now. I went to the hospital last week. Um, last two a week ago, they said they will remove the whole breast. I said no. I ran to God, and this is my first miracle service. When daddy was reading the, the book of uh, Jeremiah, yes. God gave me that same scripture. I was abandoned from a Muslim house. They thought, they thought that nothing will write on my back. It, all the word was for me today and I strongly believe I will not live here with this Lord. And when daddy was declaring, I, had, I, I was imagining thunder flowing in my breast. Later I had a broom and he affected my back and my neck as if they lose rope from the room. I believe God has touched me. Place your hand on your chest, my dear. In the name of Jesus, I release you. Now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it will never return again. I declare that they will not have to do anything over your body. A miracle has happened to you and it remains so in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Just last night, I, I slept and dreamed that my mother had breast cancer and she was so sick and she was dying. And it was like it was me, it was her. And within the week, I've had a, a lump in my armpit. But I thought it was a boil and I took drugs for it. So while you were praying and you said that, I just laid my hand on my chest and the power of God fell on me. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Yes, please. God bless you. Sometimes last week, I had um, a sharp pain on my left breast. Then I now dreamt later that it, now, it was now cancerous, that my, my two breasts were now cancerous. So I woke up and I started praying. Then you gave the word of knowledge and the pain is actually gone. Let me pray for everyone here. The spirit of cancer, whether for you or for your loved ones, I release my faith with you. Don't say it comes with old age. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that thing will never find expression in your body and hear me if if we have people here i know from a medical standpoint they say there are people who have a history or it's you know it's, it's like it's hereditary in the name of jesus whether cancer or any spirit that is transferred by blood that it happens to everybody in the family in the name of Jesus, because you are here tonight, I break that cycle finally. And any negative dream you have had as to anything that relates to sickness in your body, it remains a dream. 
it remains a dream it will never find expression in your life in jesus name i pray yes sir okay so that's that's it for her okay let me take go ahead apostle mama has had diabetes for the past three years three years now, yes now one of the symptoms is that she cannot see from afar but now i ask her she says she can see you and then they have gone to check for the medical stand she sound now hallelujah are you celebrating jesus how long was this man three years three years in the name of jesus it will never return to you again by the power of the holy spirit you are completely delivered yes please pain in the heart abdomen for the past two weeks she has had difficulty in urinating but she said she was just coming from the convenience now and she's okay she was able to urinate every demonic thing i cause it right now in the name of jesus i told you health in one word is liberty i declare be free completely in jesus name yes please she had accident two weeks ago you made mention of someone she who had accident fold. what is in the photo down. that's the yes. accident yes now she can fold and think that now what could she it you do? do that let, let her talk i cannot fold my hand i was going to walk i'm a police officer i fall in a bike I just saw myself on the ground my weight if i pull up my body now people will run and i just feel my hand i cannot move my hand i didn't discuss it with anybody i've been praying with my father my brother i'm nantel from lata i've oh been my praying God. with in nsbpd i said this is not my portion my oh father my will deliver me anywhere i'm coming from and right now what happened to you check yourself my hand oh my god my are you celebrating jesus lift your hands i stretch my hands over you and in the name of jesus oppression will not arise the second time and for any part of your body that has been injured you saw the scripture god will heal you from your wounds i declare let there be healing right now in jesus name i pray you gave a word of knowledge yes. of disappearance of mom she has gone to check mom disappear long long gone how long two weeks for the past two weeks have you seen in the name of jesus you are free right now by the power of the holy spirit yes now i'm growth in the abdomen she has got to check disappeared too growth in the abdomen for how long my dear like three years three years you are sure you've checked it yes in the name of jesus it will never return to you again yes sir so sir she came in here she's had pains 10 years toilet infection 10 years 10 years toilet infection no that is a demonic <laughs> issue you now see the difference between a medical condition and a spirit a medical condition will easily respond to drugs because the leaves are for the healing of the nations the moment it unnecessarily defies the attendance of medicine then a spirit has come to be part of it not every discomfort is necessarily the presence of a spirit it is the sometimes it can be the normal wear and tear of just having a human body but when that is so food vitamins and some medical attention should easily attend to it the moment you see that your headache does not respond to good food good rest panadol is a spirit a spirit has come behind that headache so you don't just use panadol you cast it out are we together now 10 years infection yes don't cry my dear mm, straight to the point huh okay in the name of jesus the lord has seen you he has seen your heart in the name of jesus your testimony remains permanent in jesus name she's overwhelmed god bless you hallelujah apostle she had a, a growth here and it dissolved completely how long um, I had it June last year. He first disappeared in December, then he came back. But now it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So, again, for her, sir, she had a strange growth here. Yeah? Yes, my head. There's something moving as if it's stone. As loud as you can, my dear. Something is moving in my head like stone. I think I will mad. I will get mad. And as you pray, I just fell under the anointing and the thing left. Where are you coming from? From Benway State. Everything that is not of God. And any human agent in partnership with demon spirits. In the name of Jesus, what happened to Haman? What happened to Gehazi? It will happen to them. Anybody who has vowed to walk in partnership with Satan, that you will not find rest. In the name of Jesus, I pray, may the fire of judgment from heaven, it must land upon them. 
you are set free my dear free from every demonic thing ah hold on no i'm not done with this lady lift your hands look at me i just saw something looking like a snake in the name of jesus release this lady now by the power that raised christ from the dead my dear i declare total deliverance for you i caught you away from anything associated with demons or causes in your family you are free now and free forever in jesus name amen god bless you next person please okay sir all of them they've all had pains pains in the pains head. several pains My mine is uh, this. I have chest pain. Yes. For the past four years now, based on the the work I normally do. So. And you've been healed right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, you and all those who have suffered all and various kinds of pains, I bring you life and I bring you healing in the name of Jesus. Yes. For the sake of time, um, do we have any any other striking testimony? Let's just have one. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Praise the Lord. <laughs> My leg has been itching me for the past since 2018. Your leg? Underneath my feet has been itching me. So when you prayed for fungal, I still, when, if I apply pressure to my leg, I will feel the itchy. So I kept on praying. And then I even had to remove my bag to use the pin to choke the leg. Because whenever I do that, it itches. The pain sees. At the escalator, I, I itch my leg. You went now and it's gone. It's gone. Celebrate Jesus. It's gone. It will never return to you again, my dear. Amen. You are free and completely free. Let's take one or two here, and then we'll get straight to the request. From the PR line, you gave a word of knowledge of somebody streaming in the UK. A boy who is five years old, he couldn't hear. But when you gave that one word of knowledge, they said he hear pop open and he can hear now. All the way from they the United the Kingdom. PR line. Hallelujah! Are you giving Jesus praise? Listen, our global family, it's important for you to understand, like I said earlier on, that time and distance is not an advantage in the realm of the spirit. It's only an advantage in this realm. Your miracle is at the instance of your faith. Once your faith can connect to the power of God, then the limits have been taken away. So I'm praying specially for those who are following from across the globe. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be all kinds of miracles, all kinds of breakthroughs, all kinds of restorations for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. Movement in the body for the past seven years. For the past seven years. Yes. With pain. Now she gave the word and the power of God came upon her. She fell and the pain is no more there. How long? Seven years. More than even seven years. Where are you coming from? Uganda. Okay. What happened to you? So you, you, I was standing there and I'm feeling the normal pain, pain moving all over my body. So you said somebody has pain, like um, yes. So I just fell under the anointing, and when I got up, I couldn't feel it completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Since you movement you for the past two weeks. For the past two weeks? Okay. I had like, uh, I could feel like a heaviness in my stomach. Okay. And it's gone now. In the name of Jesus, it will never return by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. So, Apostle, we need to hear this. Please. We need to hear this and also see something very interesting. So, first, let's hear the first testimony. Yes. All right. Daddy, you mentioned, you mentioned while you were speaking that people will get healed of breast lung. Someone from Switzerland was healed of two years of breast lung. Breast lung Are you celebrating Jesus? Two years healed completely. We also have somebody from Ghana with an abdominal growth disappeared. We also have another person from Ghana, back pain of six months healed completely. We also have, we also have another one from Ghana healed from leg pain. Our Christ Ghana God. family seems like they are really opening up to connect by faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, your healing remains permanent. Yes, sir. Then, Apostle, we need to hear this one. Go ahead. You know, you know he's, he's saying, what he's saying is found in Acts chapter 8, from verse 5 and 6. Acts chapter 8, from verse 5 and 6. Our time is gone, but what it says is that Peter, I mean, Philip went down to Samaria and preached Christ. And the Bible says the people with one accord, they gave heed to the things which he spake hearing and seeing the miracles which he did 
you both hear and see if it is the power of God. Yes, sir. And you give a word of knowledge about someone's left toe. That's my S- elder brother. Someone's left toe. Yes, oh legs, dear. His legs before. And I killed him for him. I called him immediately and he told me that after he finished speaking with my younger brother, he received my call that he Look at that. Can you see that? Look at that. Yes, that was before. And immediately I called him. He sent me a picture right now that a leg has dropped. Look at it right now. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is In the name of Jesus. That miracle remains permanent. That's an extraordinary miracle. We give Jesus praise. It will never return again in Jesus' name. Let's have this as the last one very quickly. She's a medical doctor, so she wants to. Okay. Um, She's a medical doctor? Okay, go ahead. For intermittently over the years, I found that I have this tightness around my head. And so I've been having forgetfulness. It's easy to cover up at work and people don't know. I would wake up and... There's a if there's a band holding my head very tightly. Mm. When we started praying, I just started feeling as if it was getting loose, getting released. And finally, when you pray just now, um, the fire came out. In fact, that was a problem it's come out. That um, you prayed against everything about cancer. It's as if something just left my head and hit the ground. Before I would feel a heaviness in my head if I shake my head. But now if I shake it, I can't even feel anything. My head Give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, healed forever. And every other miracle, whether announced or not, in Jesus' name, we declare that it remains permanent. Please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands here. I'd like you to begin to declare by faith, like the woman with the issue of blood, in the name of Jesus, this is my moment. Can you stretch your hands and pray if you believe in the God that answers prayers? The Bible says, unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Go ahead and pray. As I bow my knees to pray, you just believe by faith. I'm praying now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Declare. I would always say that this is the most accurate representation of your desires. The Bible says, what things soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it. Someone is praying. Lord, this oppression will never return again. Turn my story change my life give me a testimony if someone praying connect me to strategic helpers go ahead in the next two minutes let the mighty God arise even over the issue of concern give you a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now I'm going to pray and speak over this I just sensed again in my heart to just call our father up and to just make one fatherly declaration 
We are made by the food we eat and the words we receive, said Jesus. Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but that he can live, he should live by food and words. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over these requests. I declare that the God of heaven will arise on your case. The God of heaven will arise on your case. In the name of Jesus. Finally, your laughter arrives. I say it again. Finally, your laughter arrives. Everything that represents sadness here, in the name of Jesus, we drive it like smoke before the wind. Finally, your laughter arrives. Finally, your breakthrough arrives. In the name of Jesus Christ. For many of you, the deliverer has a reason for you. And what you will be counting are testimonies after testimonies after tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak over your life in Jesus' name that these Egyptians you see today, you will see no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, let's receive. That is the first thing we should receive from his life. That this is 84 years and standing. Koinonia, raise your voice and say, Thank you, Jesus. For the word of God says, What things soever you desire. What things soever. What things soever. I'm looking at what things soever here. So, over these prayer requests, I decree and declare under the anointing of this house, the man of God in this house. I decree and declare, your requests are answered. The louder amen you shout, the more it will happen to you. And so, the month of June has opened to you before June. Let's celebrate him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Why do we speak over people? Listen. Why do we speak over people once and again? I learned this from our fathers of faith, especially in this nation. You see it in the life of our father in the Lord. Daddy Gio. You see it in the life of our father in the Lord, Bishop David Oedipo. And every father of faith, those words you see that they speak over people have turned ordinary people into signs and wonders. We are made, you see, let me tell you, the word is like a tray. It does not just come empty. If you ask me to bring water, I will usually put it on a tray. The moment you see the tray coming, you begin to rejoice. Because no responsible person sends an empty tray to you. A tray is always carrying something. That tray is the word spoken through the lips of faith. That when it comes, it carries supernatural virtues. That if you receive by faith, your life will change in a way that will surprise you. I'm about to speak over your life. This is a major part of the miracle service. We are made by the words we receive. In the name of Jesus. Let me start from where our father stopped. Even before June, I prophesied. June, open up for God's people. June, open up for God's people. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Everything your eyes have seen, but your hand is yet to handle. Let this be the season where your hand will take possession. Let this be the season where your hand will take possession. In the name of Jesus. 
there is a relationship between laughter and victory no man steps into the realm of victory and then does not laugh i decree and declare another word for saying you are walking in victory is to say this season is your season of laughter laughter in the morning laughter in the afternoon laughter in the night everything that makes for shame and sadness by the power that raised christ from the dead let it be far from your life mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man how shall i have this business seeing that i know not any destiny helper how shall i excel in abuja in lagos in jaws in my Duguri, in europe in us in asia seeing that i don't have anyone my prayer for you is the reply of angel gabriel the power of the highest shall overshadow you the power of the highest shall overshadow you the power of the highest shall overshadow you in the name of jesus christ hear me the moment the power of the highest overshadowed mary it was possible to give birth every time the power of the highest overshadows you you will always give birth to something a vision a dream a new experience therefore i decree and declare that which must be born from you in this season give birth safely do you believe in the grace for favor <laughs> yes sir yes sir i will keep speaking over your life till the favor of god becomes a signature grace upon your life i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ favor with god and favor with men receive it favor with god and favor with men receive it favor with god and favor with men receive it every destiny helper anointed by god in this season to locate you and to hold your hands as you rise whether in the area of career whether in the place of raising your children whether in your home and your marriage whether in your spiritual life everything delaying that destiny helper i cause that spirit to give way now and then i prophetically release the helpers of your destiny to your life may they locate you may they bless you may they lift you in the name of jesus christ hear me the spirit that makes you labor for things and when it's time to enjoy them it is taken away from you i decree and declare every good thing you start with your hand you will see the end of it with your eyes in the mighty name of jesus let me pray for your health the spirit that is roaming across nigeria and africa bringing mysterious sicknesses upon people you will see healthy looking people but in two three days something just brings them down i stand in partnership with the grace upon our father if at 84 he's still jumping like a young man then in the name of jesus we who are his children we stand here by faith and i decree and declare enjoy health enjoy health enjoy health enjoy health enjoy health physical health mental health financial health where you have been called rejected where you have been called an outcast oh zion i decree and declare by the power help him in the name that is above all names this is the season where men will look for you in the morning they will look for you in the afternoon they will look for you in the night they will look for you and they will not come empty they will come with their treasures like the magi they will come with gold they will come with frankincense they will come with man to honor you in the name of jesus christ 
Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day. Every arrow roaming across from altars to destinies, I declare minus you. I say it again, minus you. Minus your family. Minus your business. Minus your destiny. Minus your health. No power will cut short your life before your time. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I pray for you. There is a grace that rests upon a man that can cause that man to be passionate about the things of God. When that grace rests upon you, you will not struggle to pray. You will not struggle to study. You will not struggle to have time with God. I don't know where you have been struggling in your spiritual life, but I stretch my hands. As one who has been shown mercy by God, I decree and declare fresh fire upon your prayer altar. The discipline to wake up and pray, receive it. The discipline to pray through till you break through, receive it. The grace to pray with answers, receive it. Number two, I pray for your word study life. Every lukewarmness and spiritual laziness, in the name of Jesus, I cast it from your life. Receive the grace to be passionate for the word. Number three, anything fighting your zeal for the house of God, I bring it under arrest right now. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I pray for you. Any association and any human vessel programmed by the devil to loiter around your life and stop you from entering your glorious destiny. In the name of Jesus, prophetically from this altar, I bring a separation now. Groups, associations, people, I break you free from them. May the grace for honor rest upon you. Go and shine, go and excel. I say it again, go and shine, go and excel. Hear me? Let Nigeria open for you. Let Europe open for you. Let America open for you. Let Abuja open for you. Let the six show political zones open for you. Everywhere you need to be to serve the purposes of God, I declare the grace for visibility that will take you there. May that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, wave your hands to Jesus and thank Him for tonight. Like the woman with the issue of blood, you're waving your hands in thanksgiving. Lord, I will surely return with my testimony. I am in a season where you are visiting me, giving me mighty and marvelous encounters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we wrap up, I know our time is spent, but I want you to pray in one minute, even though I've spoken over your life. Father, June is the sixth month. I decree and declare, we are stepping into half of the year. From January to May, anything you said should come into my life and is not yet there. I release my faith in the name of Jesus. I'm entering into the season of those supplies, those spiritual supplies. Go ahead and pray. Pray in one minute. January, February, March, April, May. The month of June will be a month where you will give me rest roundabout. Rest roundabout. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, I want you from next week to be very intentional about every koinonia service because the Lord is going to be stretching us a bit but then with it will come grace for fearful dimensions of power. Many of you, this is the season where you will encounter the power of the Holy Spirit in dramatic proportions. In the name of Jesus. Have you been blessed tonight? May the Lord honor and bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I know that we celebrated all our first timers, but let me use this opportunity and appreciate particularly all those who have traveled from across the globe to come we never take your presence here for granted we thank god for you and those who have connected and will connect by way of our media platforms may the lord bless you in jesus name
please rise up on your feet as we share the grace in fellowship may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen god bless you and see you next thank you for watching like our videos share and subscribe thank you